here. Let's talk SPACs, guys. You know what, what's starting to happen, and we talk, of course, about straight IPOs like Mr. Car Wash, um, but many of the SPAC deals that we have watched occur and when we brought the uh, sponsor on with the CEO of the company that they're merging with, they're now de -spacking. They are right. now becoming fully public companies under a ticker symbol representative of the actual company, no longer the SPAC. And we had about, I think, so far in June, you know, this week was not that big for filings. We had six filings. We had four IPOs. So six SPACs filed their paperwork to go public. Four went public. Um, and you had new deals, eight new deals announced. But what we're seeing now is 34 companies so far in June have de -spacked. So How could they all find companies new, to buy? That's 34 in they a way companies. new companies. I mean, we knew they were going to enter the market, but there's always a question as to whether they get the vote. And 34, the IPOs are enormous when yeah, you throw then, in I mean, the companies that have gone public via SPAC. That we have to remember these companies then take all the money and they hire people, yes. create jobs. It's very positive. At the same time, David, uh, it's not like they, they, they became better investments since May 12th when we had that CPI number that was red hot. They did. And they, then what happened is that people realized the Fed's going to slam on the brakes and these stocks came alive. It's no longer a SPAC out. The SEC is letting them uh, through. There is more scrutiny now. We don't necessarily have a lot of new rules, but there is sort of a new accounting for the, for the warrants. There's more focus on the pipes. Some of them, many of them coming without uh, pipes, the new deals that are being announced. But to your point, a lot of cap risk capital is going towards really risky endeavors. Really risky. And we point that out many times. Where but, but it is great that our country you know, has risk capital. It is. Listen, I mean, uh, you know, automated uh, a truck company Embark earlier this week. We yes. had the CEO on that 25-year-old That was a very good interview that you did. It's a $5 billion. Is that guy old enough to drive? He's 25, yes. I was thinking, listen, he's... He's That's all he was wanted to know, drive. was how old is this guy? He's right. That's all they wrote in and said. Yeah. That was but really. There you go. All right. And 24, 2024, 25 is sort of a key inflection point for that company. But to your point, they raised a lot of capital. I think over $600 million in new capital from the SPAC. And that goes towards continuing to build the business, despite what obviously is a lot of risk uh, inherent uh, in some of these businesses. I think models. a young person, someone, uh, after they put money in an index fund, one of these young people that surrounds us right now, I pick five SPACs and just put them away, uh, these SPACs SPAC. because some of these, I think there's going to be some that are incredible home runs and the others are going to go to zero, but they're going to net out to be positive. I really believe that. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.